These are the most exciting times that anyone could possibly be living and because Elijah's task is ahead of us all uh, to save this world from spiraling downwards into our oblivion of Matthew 24, 22. But praise the Lord that Christ said that unless these days were cut short, uh, no flesh could be saved. There is no way for uh, God's uh, to cut time short except through God's word opening anew. So it came to pass that Sir Isaac Newton prophesied these days of long, uh, of Elijah, days of Latter-day Daniel, days of Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. And uh, he said this, at the time of the end, uh, one shall stand up insisting on his literal interpretations of Bible prophecy admits much opposition and clamor and noise. For uh, the Lord says to all people of love, there's nothing special about this guy, me. <laughs> nothing special at all, except the Lord has chosen me and breathed upon me. And so praise the Lord that I see farther into the future than all other peoples, not by standing on the shoulders of giants, but by standing on the shoulders of Isa Yeshua, Jesus, the living word of God as his voice cries out again, listen and you will hear it. And uh, it is he who killed off such titans, such giants. Uh, so Elatra unto the highest heavens, and love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Know that love alone is vital for our salvation. For the Lord says, religion isn't even needed by man, since sin has caused everyone to fail all of his past covenants. But fear him no more, for only fools could fear him, because our forgiving Lord of peace is now proving his unconditional love by his newly activated kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah, 31 that has now seen Israel inheriting all of mankind Isaiah 54 3 therefore they are now Chrislam uh, the new name predicted in Isaiah 62 2 because they have inherited all loving born-again uh, Christians and Islamics so praise the Lord that Israel now arises in victory as the refiners fire uh, reaches out to ignite the 144,000 sealed, uh, sealed uh, uh, Jews that are awaiting God's activation. And so know that uh, Israel is now in these days, God is now the Lord God of all families of Israel. And from the least to the greatest of all of them, he shall know them personally, just as he will for all mankind. And this has been his everlasting covenant of Jeremiah 31. So praise the Lord that Israel now arises in victory as the word opens his Abrahamic cannons. Uh, that is the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9. And I am the latter-day Daniel who has embraced his destiny as Elijah, Daniel 12, 13. So know that nothing more will ever be need to know about the love of our Lord once you realize it's totally been always uh, totally unconditional because there is no love under the heavens un that's divine unless it is un unconditional. So love from love and know that the gross darkness of Isaiah 60 has simply been that everyone in the world wants unconditional love, but yet nobody wants to give that. These are the days of Elijah where more and more people will hear the a message of love and as they react, that his love will be overflowing through us in order to save the world because prophecy was never told to tell the future but to change it as Jonah 3 proves because Nineveh was not destroyed. So praise God that it's time that uh, the Lord has written the, the vision of God for this appointed time at the end so all those hearing it read as you are now may run because these are the kingdom age days and if we don't run for that next to that we have the uh, total oblivion of this whole entire planet just as Zephaniah 1.1 says no birds, no fish, no man no one left 
and there, this was not of the first Noah's Ark people. <laughs> uh, I mean, God did not destroy the fish in that one. This is the new oblivion right around the corner for only those people who will believe God's word. But the problem is we're all going down with the ship. It's We're going to sink or swim. So these are the days when people will realize that the Lord's inspired message of love has come to save one and all. We must arise. Uh, to to look unto our good shepherd over all the flocks of man. And as we do, his passion and his love moving us forward as a little child, keeping us away from committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, where there is perishing, where we would end up into a hellish uh, eternity of lovelessness. So we must go the opposite way and, and be born again as little children, as Christ said. And know that as we reach for the stars, understand that there are footprints on the moon so anything can be possible so it's time that we get ahead of the game and reverse our curse together